Capstone design courses are the hallmark of computer science and engineering. In these classes, teams of students tackle complex hardware, software, and embedded system design and implementation projects of their own invention. Our students tend to define the flavor of their CSE education more in terms of the capstone design courses they take than whether the degree says computer science or computer engineering. Here are some examples of this year's capstones. The goal is actually very, very simple. We would like a computer just to take over and control the speed. That's all. And to do that hopefully better than a human would do it. I think the main accomplishment is locating the car pretty well and a control that works and that already beats the human. So maybe at the end of the quarter we can generate a system that clearly outperforms someone who just comes into this room and says, okay, now I'm going to drive against your computer. As you can see, we have a soccer field up on the screen here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a ball, however, so the players score by going through the goal. We do have the ability for players on the same team to merge together into a larger player, which then scores proportionally when it goes through the goal. It's 20 different players. 20 different controllers, each student in the class has one, most of them running their own code. The sensor that actually moves the player around and allows them to control the player is a special sensor that they built and uh, we call it the air joystick. All right, so without further ado, we'll get the game started and uh, enjoy the match. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> The Animation Capstone is designed to be a truly collaborative experience for students from all over the university who create an original short animated film from conception to completion. This year's story centers around our main characters, two old men riding on a train playing a game of cards. Unbeknownst to them, the cards come alive and the story unfolds. Students have a wonderful trailer for you to see and here it is. system. Um, if the user went and maliciously edited the file um, to try and destroy it, um, the, the file will be actually made, there will be a copy made of it. Say there's four users on the machine, if user two installs an application, user one, three, and four should, the idea should be that they have no idea that that user ever installed an application. So a lot of the project was tracking down the perfect strategic place to put in a one-liner for code to do exactly what we needed it to do. So we're at Starbus and we all ride the bus. What about developing regions like Kyrgyzstan? It's not very safe to wait for the bus and you don't know when the bus is going to arrive. And it's kind of tricky to navigate the system because there's no set bus stop. So our project can be simply summed up in two words. It's about taming transit. And what exactly do we mean by that? We want to provide the riders more information about the public transportation that they use and rely on every day. Some of the biggest challenges were just getting started, uh, finding a game engine that would support what we wanted, and understanding what it was that we had to do in order to actually make this run. Our game's called uh, Clockwork Castle. It's a game where you're this little character here. You've got these uh, blocks right here, which are sort of regular blocks, and they just stop you from moving. Um, these are kill blocks, which if you touch them, you'll die. So the basic idea is just to get to the door. Our game's called uh, a Snowball's Chance. And the basic plot was that some angel like dropped their snowball. So he needs to pick up as much stuff in the world as he can and get really big and then he can climb up the cliff and get to the exit point.